Hey, what's happening, guys and gals? Welcome back to E.T., the extraterrestrial. This Yay! is part three of our free roaming series. <laughs> and uh, since Ambie forgot to pick up the gold brick, we rectify that. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! So I think, K-Wing, I think we might be looking at the suburbs today. Ooh. Well, I wanted to do the <laughs> suburbs in the first episode, or the second one, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, but I decided to do the to school. Do yeah. yeah, I... I was the school was less intimidating to do first since there is less to do. Batman. <laughs> oh, I love bringing in Batman. It's fun. Yep, Batman is a fun guy. Oh, you were. Oh. Oops, what happened? The, the the bike exploded because oh, of Batman. Oh wait, I think we're gonna have Batman try to call the bike. I don't know. Yay! Maybe we can have Batman ride it there. I don't know. Batman loves riding. Yes. <laughs> Yay! It's the new bat wing. Bat it's bike. the only way to travel. <laughs> totally. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think Batman doesn't even need his, uh... You should be able to find loads of walkie-talkies around town. A lot of kids have them these days. Being able to reach anyone, things are getting a little scary around here. There are feds all over town, rumors of a goblin, who is certainly not in my brother's room. And if that wasn't enough, I still got a ton of homework to do. At this rate, I won't have time to do this little extracurricular activity I had planned. Oh, I got your interest, huh? Mm -hmm. If you want to help, I need a few walkie-talkies. As many as you can carry. Uh, best not to ask me why. Okay. Why? <laughs> so, um, yeah, Batman, Batman doesn't even need his bat glider thing anymore, because he's got the bike. So we actually, um... I didn't know what this was before, but, uh, we actually, this is really easy to get this little aspect of the game right here. <laughs> All yeah. you have to do is play. play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you had to do that in one of the Lego games, too. Yeah, I, my memory sometimes isn't good with that kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, I forgot. You know, we totally did that. That's something interesting about these, is yeah, that, see, uh, oh, sorry, mathematical. Circle. There you go. Yeah, like, some of these, uh, one one great thing, I don't know if it's good or not, but after you do the challenges, they always come back. You know what I mean? You can always do them over and over again. Yeah, they come back. They'll give but the you... but they won't give you the gold brick every time. No. They'll just give you like a little. You get a coin. Yep. So all we had to do was play on the. And I wanted to answer one question that I got. People are like, "How come when you guys do the free roaming levels, you don't get a lot of studs very quickly?" It's like. We had to start all over again on the PS4, so the game is not beat the way it was yeah. on the Wii U for us, so we have none of the cheat blocks. Yeah, we... Except for the one that we got in this area. So, gathering studs takes a long time, because there's no yeah. no cheat block. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we started over with the PS4. But I'm glad when people ask, you know, about the cheat block... Um, when you complete a level, that actually is another gold brick. So when you actually get the Lego dimension status, whatever it is, true adventure or whatever, oh. <laughs> um, then that just looks wrong. It's funny when Batman's in it. It's just Finn. weird when Finn sits in it. He's having fun. Yeah. That's that really distracted you there. Yeah. So uh, that's interesting. I didn't realize to get that status, you get a gold brick. That's awesome. So. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to basically go from house to house, I think. Nice. And just get the different things that there are. See how many gold bricks we can get in this suburb area. Right now, we have to find all these walkie-talkies. For that uh, legit thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they did a pretty good job with Michael from the movie. But, of course, I'm always like, why isn't he taller? But, of course, yeah, he's a Lego, so they're all the same size. So well, there's Michael small Lego people, and then there's yeah, normal size. Yeah, because Elliot is, would be much shorter than his brother. I really thought Elliot had really dark hair. I think he does, which is really weird because of this. A lifetime of waiting. Oh, Elliot has blonde hair, which I believe in the movie his hair is extremely dark. Like, it's almost That explains black. why he's kind of bad at... Uh, Steering his bike. Yeah, maybe they just made him blonde in this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, oh. Good job. That was cold. Yeah, so I mean, it was pretty easy to find. We're just looking for the red dots on here, and I'm I'm sorry, but the uh, thank you. The uh, 
The bike is the only way to travel on this level. It is the only way. I don't know. If it was just me and I was doing it, I would call in Superman. Oh, to to go around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just this is this is so much nostalgia for me though. Watching, um, whatever his name is, ET. <laughs> I forgot his name. It's it's only on the. Uh... I love this movie. It's my favorite movie. What is his name? Brother, he won't play fantasy RPGs with you. I oh that that's was like cool. a time paradox. Because Elliot was riding the bike. I know, there were two Elliots in the place. Clone. No, I love it. This is like, this gives me tingles to see, especially when they ride by the moon. I mean, this is the uh, actual. Shivers and tingles is the same thing. Whatever it is. This but is... shiver your timbers is, is a pirate thing, so. As long as it doesn't give me shingles, that's good. But, uh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is like, I mean, this. You know that Steven Spielberg loved this movie. Otherwise, why would he have it as his logo for his whole, you know, Steven Spielberg movie thing? I it's... thought it's because it was one of his first movies. Oh, I thought I thought he just loved E.T. If he loved it, then wouldn't he have tried to milk the property to, you know? Maybe he wants to keep it sacred. Keep but then again, that's why we have safe. Independence Day. E.T. returns. <laughs> that would be so cute seeing E.T. come out of there. Or, like, or... He would be directing the armies of evil aliens. E.T. is a dominator from the CW. See, this is... Yeah, exactly, a dominator, yeah. But see, I don't think you're a fan of this type of play box, however, or whatever it's called. I I'm sorry, what was that? What is this called? A play box? What is this called? No. Play set? Play... Free roaming. Free roaming toy... Nope. Free roaming level. This is what happens when you play too many toys to life game. <laughs> But see there, he's going by the moon. Ah, classic scene with Sonic. All right. Take a mind. I am literally smiling the entire time playing this. My my face is in a per perfect smile. Perfect. Permanent. You know what? It's hard to play and talk. Maybe I'll have to give well, this to Sonic. Amber is one of those people that can't chew gum and talk at the same time. Or walk. Actually, when I'm driving, you have to turn off the radio if I'm singing. If I'm singing to the radio, I'm just like, I love this song. And I start singing, and you're just like, uh, that's the curb, dear. It's like, no, I'm in the road. No, I'm driving no on the road. No bonus points for the curb today. <laughs> Help me. Well, you like seeing Sonic everywhere. Plus, everyone does, so. He's like... If I had to pick, like, my top ten characters, he would be in the top ten for LEGO Dimensions. He gets around every... whatever you call this, free roam area, faster than everyone else. Well, not faster than The Flash, but The Flash... This is what I don't understand. The Flash appears in the um, DC Universe thing, like mm -hmm. the, the shared Gothtropolis thing. Look how cool that is. That's it's beautiful. One of the coolest that's the uh, spaceship, right? Yeah, that's where E.T. goes at the beginning and the end of the movie. Um, but I mean, one of the coolest looking spaceships ever. Kind of looks I like a giant it. Easter egg. I love it. it. It's like so old school. I love it. It's like, I love it. I just love the look of the spaceship. I'm it's just going to call you Paula from now on. Yeah, I, I am Paula. I, this is this was one of my favorite movies. Absolutely dreadful. This is one of my favorite movies growing up. This is like, ah. when you play this area, it's so peaceful. The music, the the atmosphere, just thinking about how the kids used to just hang out on their bikes and roam around and meet aliens. I mean, it's just so relaxing and nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it, but uh, I like the Sonic level more. I know you do. find loads of walkie-talkies. You got them? Cool. I'll swap out the Fed's weapons for these. You know, just in case they end up chasing us and we need to make it out of town in one piece. What? It's not stealing. My tax dollars paid for this equipment I'm replacing. <laughs> uh, well, okay. My mom's tax dollars did. Anyway, you've been a great accomplice. I mean, uh, assistant. Here, take this. <laughs> I like what they did there. He kind of sounds similar to Michael. He does sound like him a little bit. I mean, the didn't do a bad. I mean, it sounds better than E.T. The person they got to play E.T. is just... Really? I thought it was kind of cute. Oh, no. It's just kind of disturbing, actually. Oh, Well, E.T. is always disturbing. Oh! Not my day. Good thing you have, uh... So, yeah, right? Here. So, if you guys are looking for where the house is, this is right across from the park, so you can go right here. 
start right here, F, and then we'll kind of go around the block. Around the block going trick-or-treating, yo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Halloween, so totally. I still remember when people would, like, Halloween was such a big deal in the 80s. Yeah, it was because it was, I mean, I would say it was safer then, or people trusted people more. I don't know if it was safer, but we trusted each other more. There was more trust. Alright, I'm yeah. trying to get off of here. <laughs> it's not letting me get off. It's not letting me get off. Okay, yeah. oh, apparently... Yeah, Finn's red sword. Finn, get Finn. off! Finn? <laughs> Finn? This is not the Olympics, buddy. There, there you go. There, apparently it's just making me hop from one to the other. We're destroying this person's garage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. That was a fast block to find. <laughs> Good job. Yay! So happy with that. <laughs> okay, I think if I had to spend more time in one uh, place than the other, even though I love Sonic, I prefer this. I just mm -hmm. love the music and I just love the environment. It's so great. And E.T. is adorable. Yep. I'm trying to play as other people, though, but if it was just me, I'd be playing as E.T. the whole time. That and then saying ouch to ouch. myself all the time. <laughs> ouch. Oh no, these hardly ever work. Oh yeah, and then, well, I probably shouldn't spoil the end of the movie, but I was just watching the ending scene where Elliot is saying goodbye to E.T. and he's saying, ouch! And he's saying he hurts inside because E.T. is leaving. I was like, <gasps> Spoilers! Oh. I can spoil everything. Okay, I... I I actually tried to use that on the Sonic level today, and it wouldn't let me do it. Oh, really? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. I, I forgot. I gave up, because I was like, we'll just go inside that cave, and then you trolled me. Because I couldn't get that stupid growth puzzle to work. Uh. Oh, I guess uh, E.T. knows how to make that uh, car go. It's because he's E.T. <laughs> well, he has superpowers. Uh, speaking of superpowers... I'd bring in Superman, but... Yeah, maybe we'll bring in Superman. Oh! No. Or, or something like that. Super... Haha, <laughs> 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 it makes the... Uh, Her voice is cute in this! I like no, I was, I was laughing because he used... He brought in a blonde, she's supposed to use heat vision, and then she used her ice breath. Oh, sadness! I can't remember what button! I know, it's funny. <sighs> uh, it, it was very Did fitting. Did your whole oh. planet on my way to Earth? Batman has no home planet. Wait, that didn't come out right. Okay, I keep forgetting you actually have to hit that at the time where that little spinny thing is on the green area. Hmm. So, yeah, that's gonna be tricky for Batman. So, bring. Oh, yep, circle, good job. Yep. Out of the way, Batman. Know, we'll see if. <laughs> Batman is just. There, let it let a professional do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ben, whatever. <laughs> look at that and running into the wall. Uh oh. Oh no. I hate these. Ethan Hunt, why? Then just disappear. You you could, or whatever. <laughs> no, whatever. we, can't. we um, can't. I've tried it before. You can't. You have to actually turn off the alarm first, then disappear. Oh wow. Yep. That's frustrating. I have to find somebody who can get up there. Some somebody who is female. All right. Just love Supergirl. I love her. She's so cute. Plus, we got her recently because we got the PS4. Yeah, we had to get the PS4 version. So, so. I might as well show her off as much as possible because not everyone has her. That makes sense. I think she's adorable. Her voice is really cute too. You want to know what people don't have a lot of though? What arrow? arrow. Jinx. Yeah, I'll have to put arrow on more. Did pass your home planet on my way to Earth? What? Are you are you saying that in in terms of ET? I think she was saying that you're from the other planet, Luke. She was talking to you. I, is she supposed to be insulting people when she says that? I think she is. I think so. Yeah. Ethan, what are you doing? He's just hanging out. No! Well, you got it. Oh, somebody, uh, one of my NPCs ran into the alarm. Oh, that's funny. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
So yeah, Batman can do the invisible. It's not as cute as E.T. And so. E.T. is adorable. Ethan can do it too. Oh really? He can do it too? I didn't mm -hmm. realize that. I don't understand how him dressing with a wig would not make the alarm go off. Because that was his disguise in the movie. They're just trying to be authentic. Yeah, I know, but the alarm would still see somebody coming. Never mind. It's unrealistic. E.T. good. Good job, E.T. E.T.'s happy. And there we go. So that gold brick has been acquired. <laughs> you know what's the one of the freakiest scenes in E.T.? Hmm. Is when they, they hide him in that whole room that has all the stuffed animals. Do you remember that part? And his face is in there with all the stuffed animals, and you, and you like scan over, and his face is right there. I used to freak me out later when I was a kid because I thought I would kind of scan my stuffed animals and make sure there wasn't an alien like hiding in there smiling. Yeah, I actually, my family thought that was like a a scene from a horror movie that Grandma sent or something no. like that. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. That was actually kind of scary, but it, it's cute. It's like, E.T. is creepy, a little bit scary, but mostly totally adorable. I think you might, even though I'm older than you, I think you might actually have seen E.T. before me. I don't think it was a movie that I saw until much, much later. Well, I just, I saw it so many times because I just, I loved it. I I actually, when I was little, I thought I would meet like a little alien and take care of them the same way. Because I related to the character of Elliot so much, because he cared about animals and stuff. But uh, it never happened for me. I never really met an alien. Mm. Unfortunately. That's actually a good thing. Yeah. It's probably for the best, because I'd probably end up meeting an alien like from Independence Day or something. You do well with vampires. Vampires? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think so? It's not this. It's not human to be this pale. <laughs> oh, you mean yourself? Oh, yeah. boom chink. I also have that, you know, predominant overbite, the fangs, <laughs> aversion to sunlight. Yep. Kind of obvious. Uh -huh. In some ways. <laughs> oh, you're oh, hilarious. you should have waited. It For was what? When it was purple. What? Yeah, you get more studs. You wait till it changes different colors? Are you colorblind? Is that... I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. So, I kind of like that you can use the... Oh, face palm. Ow. So, I kind of like that you can use different characters on this. They, they still make Ethan Hunt usable and stuff. But at the same time, it is annoying if you don't have all these characters. Because then you hey, cannot you complete everything. Sundown. Where are they? They're around, Elliot's mom. Though you're a bit away from the house, so... Yeah, I know. The kitchen is that way. Kids will be kids. Hey! And it's getting kind of late, and... Well, a mother worries, you know? If you see any of my kids out there, can you tell them to hurry on home? They're all in costume, of course. Elliot's dressed as a zombie. Gert's either a ghost or a cowgirl, or was it both? And Michael's... well... Michael's got a fake beard and a uh, hat on. You know, you'll probably realize it's him when you see him. Yeah, but in the movie, he did not have a hat and a fake beard. That's because he didn't want to dress up for Halloween. No, he, he had like a... Pass your home planet on my way to Earth? He had a thing. Like Eye an, patch? No, like an arrow going through his head, or a, it might have been a knife, I don't know. Oh. One of the, I think that's why they changed it for this. I just, oh. Now I just ruined the kid-friendly aspect of this game. Oh, stop. Well, they probably didn't want something horrifying like that. I mean, it's not horrifying. You know, you get the fake arrow or fake knife through your head. That was actually a pretty big gimmick in the um, yeah, early I'm, 80s and even into the... I don't see a lot of costumes like that anymore. I know. But there'd be a lot of people that'd be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm trick-or-treating, and they just have, like, some, like, blunt they just object have through their head. Yeah, or through their... Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be... I mean, back in the day, it was, like, it's kind of... I mean, some people were princesses. Mom's looking for me. Yep, he is. Or she is. <laughs> but in general, people tried to be scary. Like, nowadays, I feel like costumes are lamer and lamer. Candy, please. I like, haven't hit my chocolate quota yet. I mean, like, okay, why do girls wear dresses that have a character on them? You know the dr the girl costumes? Uh -huh. It doesn't look like they're wearing a costume. It's just a dress. It's like, 
you know, oh, I'm gonna be an M&M, so it's a dress with M&Ms on it. It's like, you don't look like an M&M. You have to look like the character. Anyway. Do you know what time it is, young man? Don't give me that look. What time do you call this? I've been out of my... Wait a minute. Gertie, have you always been that tall? Who's <laughs> Gertie? Uh, you my mom's? <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I think there's been some sort of mistake. These aren't my kids. Yo, where Oops. the candy at? Michael? Oh, on, you must be, what, 30? Eh, you don't ask, you don't get. Hmm. Maybe I should have given you a picture of my kids before sending you out there. Well, now I have a new search party, so I guess you can run along home. Oh, but don't forget to take some candy. Wait, candy from the desert? Okay, well, the gold brick works. Ooh. Ooh. And justice has been done. I, I delivered fake kids to their not real mom. Woohoo! <laughs> oh boy. That was an amazing trick there, E.T. He tried. All right, well, I don't know what else we have to do today, but Supergirl needs a ride because it's difficult for her to fly. Her arms get tired. She doesn't really use her arms. It's more like... Doesn't Actually, she have I to don't... hold her arms out in front of her, though? I don't even know how Kryptonians do it. Somehow they just lift off the ground and just, like, force it's... themselves or something. I don't know. Yeah, do they do it with their mind or do they do it, like, just by jumping really high? I don't know. Can anybody else say how they're bothered by the fact that both Superman and Supergirl in the Supergirl show have blue lasers from their eyes instead of red. Anybody else what? bothered by that? Yeah. What? Blue yeah. lasers? Blue lasers. That doesn't make any sense. I know, right? It's not supposed to be blue. I think we got everything, actually. There's nothing left. Yeah, I think we did this good today. Everything. There's a, a tiny... Lifetime of waiting. Only for it to be so very fleeting. <laughs> yeah, there's Elliot's dad, but... The guy keeps talking every time you go by. Yeah, so I think we're gonna have to go to Elliot's house next, which is pretty much its own level. So I'll just... I get the feeling this just isn't going to work out for me? Because you're blonde. You know what? So many blondes are gonna unsubscribe, including myself. You used to be a blonde. Your hair got darker. And then I got smarter. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You know what? I'm gonna start a campaign, a PR campaign, to show how awesome blondes are and smart. Well, anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode of LEGO ET. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell yeah. us the value of blondes in the comments below. And we'll see you with more ET <laughs> next time. God bless and happy gaming! See ya! See ya!